Uh, before I give my presentation, I'm grateful for the opportunity to say a few words of appreciation of our colleague Eleanor Wilde. Ellie joined my lab in July 2016, short, uh, 17, sorry, shortly after the start of the Mutograft project. She had obtained a degree in pharmacology in 2012 from Leeds University, a course in which had included a year's industrial placement at Novartis, and she won the prize for being top student in her second year. She went on to obtain her PhD in genetic toxicology in Gareth Jenkins's lab at Swansea University in 2016. So she came to us with a good pedigree, and so it proved. As we were taking our first tentative steps into growing and maintaining human tissue organoids for the project, Ellie demonstrated enthusiasm, flair, skill, and rigor in her work, and she made valuable contributions to our progress in the early stages of the project. She can be seen here in the middle, of, middle picture at the bottom, explaining our work to the project's patient advocates on their visit to King's College in August of last year. Not long after this, she was admitted to hospital with suspected food poisoning, only for the much more serious diagnosis of a rare form of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma to follow. Ellie undertook the ensuing course of high-dose chemotherapy with fortitude and without complaint, spending most of the rest of the year in hospital. Her course of treatment complete, she emerged from hospital in January and set about regaining her strength. In early February, she was declared to be in remission and was making plans to return to work as soon as her blood count was high enough for her to travel on public transport safely. But sadly and suddenly, she was back in hospital in early April, having relapsed. Around that time, she was married to her fiancé, Jatin Verma, whom she had met in the Jenkins lab in Swansea. Unfortunately, further treatment of her disease was ineffective, and she died in hospital on May the 27th, surrounded by her family and husband. A promising career and a life cut tragically short. She was not only a talented scientist, but also an accomplished sportswoman, a squash and a rowing, and a musician, piano and French horn. Suffice it to say that she is greatly missed by all of us at King's. <laughs>